Hey, what's going on my friends? It is Vasters, AKG Saves. I'm back with another uh, server um, video, I guess you would say. And uh, we're, we're, you know, we, we changed some stuff as well. You know, like this, the menu, we changed it a little bit. Also, if you hover over this, um, we changed it a little bit as well. As you can see, it's a little bit, uh, the reason why I changed it is because before I used to have your character name and that used to take up a lot of data because it had to save all your character names and stuff like that. So instead, I just, just decided to make this. It's pretty simple and it looks really, really cool. And uh, same with this one before, if you uh, used to like hover over, I used to tell you like, welcome back, then your name. Um, I switched it just, just so it doesn't like use up too, too much memory. But let's go on the server. And um, I haven't actually been on the server today. I actually uh, had a doctor appointment and I actually was pretty much sleeping the whole day. And if you guys are wondering what that was, it was the eye doctor. That, they had to put drops, you know, to see how my vision is. And my vision was super blurry after they put those drops. So I couldn't really do anything you know, on the server um, until now. But I wanted to talk to you guys about this server. I want to talk to you guys how it's like, you know, to... um. To, to run a server I guess you would say like like because it's my first time on minecraft ever doing this and uh, I just want you know I, I'm letting you guys know like little things like I show you guys the plugins I use like I don't really mind if you guys see them right now because they're they're public you know they're as you can see um, so if you want to make your own server that's fine go for it take the plugins I'm using if you want I don't really mind uh, but I like to give you guys information and stuff like that and you know kind of you know like help you guys out if you guys are trying to make a server as well and I just want to let you guys know that it is difficult man it is so difficult to actually um to to make a server it is seriously so so difficult there's a lot of knowledge that requires for it um, that you have to actually know a lot of stuff but the most difficult thing for me is actually being the owner of the server um, you might think, why is that so difficult, you know, and the thing about it is, you, you might think, oh, because he has to, like, conduct the website, he has to, like, you know, pretty much make and produce the website, he has to make sure the server is running, he has to pay the bills and all this, well, that's not the case, you have to be a certain type of person, guys, and I want to I want to, I want to let you guys know, you have to be a certain kind of person to run a server, that, you know, if you have staff members, if your staff members are, you know, not, you know, doing their little thing and not, they're not doing what they they said they would do you gotta speak up and you might end up losing friends because of this you know I had to speak up recently to a couple of staff members I pretty much told them even though it's you know since like what a couple weeks or something I don't know that I actually was talking about actually more than likely deranking people that haven't really got on the server a lot and worked a lot on the server there's a lot of reasons why um, you know, is is it's either like person's busy or something like that. But the the issue was that a lot of people um, were actually pretty much lying to me, and they were pretty much saying that they were like super busy. And then I end up seeing them in like in a different game and stuff. I still love them. I still care about them. But it's kind of sad how they have to lie. You know, they kind of give you like that little hope of like um, I guess inspirational words. Uh, it's more like that saying like yo I'm gonna work so hard on the server you know I'll, I'll get this done this done this done then I wait for them and they don't show up um, but yeah it's mainly for those kinds of people and um, I'm seeing like the actions that uh, the admins and helpers and all this stuff are actually doing uh, the ones that are actually going on the server even without me I, even without contacting me like hey I'm about to go on the server and work on it hey just straight up go on the server and just work on it those people, like, I can tell that they really want to help on the server. It's not a chore to them. They want to help out. They want to make sure this thing prospers. Um, and then there's other people that simply, like, every one, two, three, four, five, maybe a month or something, a week, whatever, uh, they ask me, hey, are you online? Yeah, can, can, can we work on the server? It's like, you can go on the server whenever you like and work on the server whenever you like. You can just let me know if you need a task and I can give you a task. Um, just by some some of the actions that I see from um, from certain you know people you know it I can just tell because I don't want people to be upset is the thing because I know what it's like to have a to have a job that you don't want to be at and this right here the admins and all that stuff they're not getting paid for this right now 
um, God willing, if God will provide, you know, for you know, for enough income to sustain the server, and also a little bonus, I, I definitely will be starting to pay the staff members. But I'm gonna have to learn some stuff, um, like taxes and, and all this stuff, because it's self-employment pretty much, and I, you know, that's, that's a new scene for me. So I gotta learn some stuff from that. Um, but yeah, it's a very, very difficult scene because I'm not used to being the guy that kind of like runs the place, I guess you would say. And uh, the cool thing is that God's backing me up. And you know, I have those people time and time that show up, maybe friends or strangers, whoever it is. They pretty much say, "Yo, I didn't do this. No, this person's lying." Blah blah blah. And I can just tell, you know, <laughs> pretty much God fills me in on the situations like ASAP, and I kind of, I pretty much can tell if the person's being honest or not, and I can see it. And um, you know, I, I'm thankful for that because it's not, just, it's, I'm not running this thing on my own. It's God is helping me out. Cause it's, it's, it's really stressful, I guess you would say, frustrating, because um, I'm not used to being. Uh, a manager you're pretty much playing the boss role if you own the server and that's so weird to me guys um, you know what I mean and uh, obviously if like the staff members are working for pay like if I actually had to pay for them like pay them to actually build stuff they better not slack off at all because that's you, you'll be fired because <laughs> uh, that includes money right there um, and or just D ranks and you don't have to work on things you were working on like the thing about the staff members that we are having um, I don't want to say the names, but there's some of them that either are lying or just haven't really got on the server. They're giving false hopes, saying, "Yo, I'm gonna get on the server. I'm gonna make sure this thing all works." And they don't—they barely get on the server. They probably got on the server like once or twice. Um, there's a very few, few people, because we only had like seven or something like total people. Um, and I know some of them are dealing with stuff you know, in real life, and that makes sense. Um, they don't have to lie to me though. You know, I'm there for them. I love them. I care about them. And the thing about me is, uh, like, it, like I told you guys, if you're an owner, guys, like, of a server, or of anything, like, if you're a straight up, like, an owner of a company, you have to really have a certain type of, uh, um, I don't know, a certain, a certain, a certain type of just, just, like, like, manager type of role. You can't be the guy that's, uh, you know, just, like, like, the, you can't, you can't be the, how would I say this, you can't be the, you can't be the father, you have to be the leader. If you're an owner or something, like if you own like let's say like Walmart, like you know, the store Walmart, uh, you're gonna have to actually take the leader role. You're gonna say, Okay, I want you to go over here, deliver this truck over here, I want you to do this and you have to think of like, okay, I wanna make sure that we do this because this is gonna help out on this scene, this is gonna get us, you know, this, 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 so on and so forth. Um and it's so difficult for me guys, because I'm not used to that. Cause I I have seen some friends that I had for a while now. Um, and they just like I, I share tell I, I tell them I let them know that you know more than likely they're gonna get deranked if they don't you know start working stuff like that um, like hard and stuff like that because they're, they're saying they're gonna work really really hard and you know they're putting a lot of words but they're not doing the walk you know they're just they're, they're just talking but they're not doing the walk they're not doing the effort and the complete walk I know some of them are busy some of them are not as busy they're pretty much saying that they're the most busiest person out there and I see them playing a different game or something I forgive them I love them but I would love if uh, if uh, they could be honest completely with me and uh, with everyone else because as you guys know the old me Kadoka 475 that's on YouTube channel that's the old YouTube channel before I actually uh, was saving Christ I was a mess up torn apart type of person I I I, I, would, I curse like crazy I couldn't tell the truth at all I was a liar I was a stealer I was a thief I was it just this goes on but because of God I'm completely different now I'm completely born again in Christ and it's only because of Jesus that uh, that happened but yeah you guys I want to let you guys know that if you're planning to run a server and you're planning to have admins you're planning to have helpers moderators Make sure you are ready for it. Make sure you're ready because you might end up losing some friends. Um, some people might be like, okay, I understand what you're talking about. Yeah, that makes sense. Some other people will be like, straight up, they will just curse you out. They will just be angry at you. Um, you know, and you have to be, a, you know, you have to be a certain type of role. You know, you have to actually know who to put, you know, in a high ranking and who not to put in a high ranking. I, I myself would like to, uh, 
put the ones that are really working hard as a really high ranking and the ones that can't have enough time um, to help on the server um, and or just don't want to because I know some of them actually have plenty of time they just don't log in on the server and that, that kind of lets me know that they don't really want to help on the server in the task that I put them on so I was telling like some of the admins that I, you know that you know about this stuff um, that were actually doing you know like pretty much either lying to me or and or just giving me false hope you know sending me a message saying they're gonna help on the server and they barely do um, and the thing about it is like you have like you have to know who to put in a high rank and who not to put in a high rank you, you have, you're gonna have to know who to put you know as like like if you're in Walmart you're gonna have to know who to put on the register you're gonna have to know who to put uh, the person for the carts so on and so forth and the way I'm doing this is obviously I'm praying <laughs> I'm praying that you know God just takes complete control over this. But the thing about it is, from this, what I'm seeing is, I'm I'm, I'm reminded is of the old job I had, which was horrible, guys. It was one of the worst jobs I ever had in my life. It was so bad. Um, I was pretty much, um, I guess you could say, lured. I'm not, I don't want to say the store, but it was a store, and it, I was pretty much uh, blackmailed. I guess you would say. Um, uh, I was actually on the register, right? mainly on the register. I also had to do a little bit of uh, stocking and stuff like that. But the uh, thing about it is, uh, didn't matter how how well I counted on the register, there's something always showed up. It, I was either short or something, and I ended up getting in massive trouble. And it made absolutely no sense. But then afterwards, I realized that I was actually getting blackmailed. Someone else, someone else was actually either a not counting correctly, and or b just trying to get people fired. You know, and I wasn't the only one that actually had that issue in that, you know, place. Um, and, you know, like for me, being the owner of this server, um, I can't do this on my own. You know, I need God to help me out, you know, because it's, it's difficult, guys. And the thing, the thing like I'm telling you guys about is like you have to know who to put in a high rank. You have to know who to put, who, who wants to be a high rank, who wants to work on this task, who wants to work on this other task, who wants to be on the register, who wants to be... Uh, you know, stocking. Who wants to be uh, for the for the the carts to get the carts outside? Who wants to be in those roles? And what I'm seeing, I'm seeing the actions. You know, the fruits that uh, people are producing on the server. You know, that my friends, helpers, and all this stuff are producing on the server. And I'm seeing a lot of people not truly wanting to help in the in-depth uh, built-in plugin scene. There's very, very few people that want to do that. I see a lot of people that just want to get on and get out. You know, get on, relax a little bit, get out. And I have the ranks just for those kinds of people. You know, you got helper, you got moderator, and some of them actually know how to build really, really well. They could be builder. You know, they don't have to be an admin. You know, because admin means you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to actually like seriously, like almost run the server. You know, you're gonna have to make sure the the errors are fine. You're gonna have to make sure the plugins are fine, and all this. It's just a lot of work. You know, and a lot of people don't want to do that. A lot of people just want to relax, you know, just want to stay calm, just keep cool, you know, just like take it easy. They just want to do that. They don't want to go like all out and just like go for like plug in for plug in if that kind of makes sense. Because uh, it's, it's a difficult thing. It's, it's like a, it's a very difficult thing to have um, like, what, oh man. Like, it's a difficult thing to actually be an admin. I guess this is what I'm saying. It's a difficult thing to be an admin. It's easier to be an, uh, a mod or a, a helper on the server. Helpers and moderators get some certain permissions. Um, like some of them could be mute, kick, ban, um, and stuff like that. They could also get maybe slash fly. I don't really know. But they could get stuff like that. Um, but uh, it's, it's, it's difficult, you know? It's kind of like... I, I like hopefully you guys get what I mean. It's very very difficult to run a server. You know what I mean? Because you know it, it's difficult. What I'm trying to make is like every single staff member. I'm trying to make it so they're not like bummed out, so they're not stressed, so they're not you know it, you're not they're not doing something they don't want to do. I know how that feels like in my old job. I was working in a place I didn't want to work at. I didn't want that job, and I had to work in that job for a while. And uh, it was a horrible experience and I don't want people to experience that on a server I want people to be happy you know what I mean if I give like a builder a task on the server and they're just like I don't really think that suits me okay I'll give you another task and stuff like that time to time so you're not gonna be all like stressed out and all like oh I don't want to do this you know so you're actually doing something that you actually love something that you actually want to do 
you know, this applies to the admins, helpers, this and that. That's why I want to actually derank some people. Because I'm seeing the fruits that the people are producing. If someone says, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to work on the server like crazy. I'm going to work on the server as much as I can. I'm going to make sure it gets done. It's going to get done. I'm going to make sure it gets done. And all, this, and all of a sudden, like, you, like a month goes by. And you barely see, seen that person online, like, helping you out. Um, and that kind of tells me, this person doesn't really want to help in that sort of aspect. Yes, they could be busy, but they're not that busy. Uh, that they can't just send me a message saying, yo, I can't make it today, yo, I can't do this, yo, I just want to apologize. Like, you can't be that busy. You know, you're not you're not straight up like someone of like, you know, you, most of the people that I have on the server have school. Either school and or uh, a certain job or something. You will have at least 10 minutes of free time. 10 minutes at least. And you can actually just message me, just let me know, hey, can't make it today. Uh, just want to you know I can't work on the server, blah, blah, blah. And I'll be cool with it. But it's there's people that are saying that yo, I'm gonna help on the server and they, they, they do for a little bit, but then they, they disappear for like weeks upon weeks, even months, and they don't show up. They don't they don't send me a message. I have I have to, I have to be the one that actually sends them the message usually, and it's not the other way around. And um yeah, that kinda tells me, you know, like they don't wanna be on that role. I wanna make sure people are actually having fun and stuff like that. You know, on the server and you know, a nice safe environment as well. Um, and you know it's a difficult thing guys it's very very difficult like I'm sure you guys can tell right now I've just been talking for like the past 20 minutes just sharing how difficult this is for me um, you know you, you have friends that you actually known for like like some of them I known for like months okay and um, pretty much these friends that I'm talking about they're not from what I know from what I see by the fruits they're not born again in Christ but I'm praying for them um, they don't take like God seriously and stuff like that but it gets to the point that they have to follow the rules. No cursing, no this, no that. It's just that some things, it kind of like, it goes one ear and it goes out the other. But I'm praying for them, you know what I mean? You know, if you, you could be an admin, you could be a co-owner. If you break the rules, you could straight up be kicked and stuff like that, you know what I mean? Um, but the cool thing about the admin and stuff like that that I put is they actually know me for quite some time. And they've seen that I'm actually different, you know, than some other people. You know, God actually showed them. You know, that I'm not, you know, just this person that's just talking about, you know, just this regular person just talking about scripture. Instead, I'm this person that's a living testimony, oh my God, because God goes far beyond scripture. God goes far beyond a pastor. God goes far beyond a building, you know? So, yeah, you know, it's, cra it's crazy, guys. It's crazy. It's, it's a very difficult thing, guys, um, to run a server. But what I recommend you guys to, if you guys are planning to run a server, um, make sure you get this this leadership role down or at least try to um, you know it, it's a difficult thing it's a difficult task it's almost like if I have to fire people I don't want to like even for the ones that are not working or even for the ones that have been lying to me um, I don't want to kick them I don't want to I don't want to remove them obviously if they started to like do something really severe or something very really bad you know in my eyes like straight up like trying to destroy the server then that's different they're gonna probably get IP banned but if they're just saying like a, a lie, it hurts me real bad. It's like, why would you lie to me on something so small? If you can't be honest on something so small, how can you be honest on something major? And um, it's very sad, but um, like I, I still have, you know, I'm praying for them. I still have that hope that they can actually change, you know, that, that God can make them new. You know, and I know God can. God can make anybody new. I don't care who you are, what, you, what you've been through, where you, you know, what you're going through. God can make you new, man. I was torn apart in, like, pieces. I was all over the place, and God made me new, man. God saved me. You know, God saved my soul, man. Right now, if I die, I'm going to be in heaven. But I can still lose my salvation, you know. Just because God made me new doesn't mean I can't lose it. I still have free will. I can just, I can, I can actually leave God whenever I want. The door's open. I don't want to, though. He's been through, you know, he's been with me, and he's been through, you know, every little thing I've been through. You know, he has, you know, he, he knows my pain, he knows my wounds. And, uh, and yeah. So pretty much my advice to you guys, uh, if you're running a server, uh, if you're going to have um, people helping you on the server, try to get that leadership role, like, down. You cannot have, um, if, you, if you can't run a server, there's technically no one leading it. If it's just a mixture of like um, like registers, like people running a register, who's gonna be counting? You know, who's gonna be paying the bills? Who's gonna be doing this? Who's gonna be doing that? 
you know, you're gonna have to have some sort of leadership role to the point that you might end up losing friends. You might end up, you know, you might, the friends might become your worst enemies pretty much simply because you just told them something that they didn't want to hear about. Um, and it's crazy, it's crazy. Um, so yeah, it's, it's very, very, very crazy. It's very, very crazy. It's very insane. And it's very, very difficult for me. But um, it's a leadership role. That's what it is. You know, I had to do this with a lot of games in the past. And it's a horrible, it's a horrible feeling when you have to tell somebody that, you know, they could get kicked from the guild um, and or this or that if they don't stop, you know, you know, know what they're doing cursing this that it's just it's a horrible horrible feeling because it's like I, I understand where they're coming from because I used to be that sort of person that I used to just you know I used to use people in the past the old me Kodoko 475 I used to lie 24 7 pretty much I used to curse a storm but because of God I'm completely new I've been washed clean I'm not the same whom I was before and I praise God for that but that's that's the hard thing is that I understand where they're coming from you know, I, I get it. I get why they do that. You know, it's just it hurts me because I, you know, I have to like take the responsibility role of just saying, "Yo, you're gonna get kicked out of the server if you don't clean up your act," and or you know, the guild or this or that. Um, obviously, like in the server, I'm just giving an example. On the, obviously, on the server, I, I have no plans on kicking any admin out. Just simply deranking some of them to a role that suits them better that I believe they would do better in. You know, there's a you know, for like for me, I have to be the guy that runs the plugins, guy that runs the pretty much like the whole entire thing in a way. And uh, that's fine. I like that. You know, it, like you guys can tell I, I make like so many videos of these updates and I'm having a blast doing that. It's not like a chore. It's not something that I'm just like carrying this package on my back. This is something I'm actually having fun and I want to make sure the staff members have fun. And, and, and you know and are safe and stuff like that and you know with the things they're they're, they're given the task to if one of them them giving like the task to um, like maybe edit a plugin they're having fun editing that plugin they're not you know stressed out and stuff like that because I know how that feels and it's a horrible feeling you know when you when you are actually put to a certain job that you really don't want to be working at I know how that feels and I want to make sure it's an awesome environment for the staff members here and uh, you know, I've, I've been giving a lot of chances to them and stuff like that, and um, it's difficult, guys. So my, my advice to you guys: make sure you get the leadership role down if you plan to make a server on Minecraft or simply just running anything. If you're running a, a restaurant <coughs> or anything else, you know, make sure you, you you know how to lead people. Make sure you know how to you know be the owner of that sort of thing. Like for me, I can't do that by myself. Other people can't do that by themselves, man. So sooner or later, it's gonna come crumbling down. You know, it doesn't matter. You know, how big you might think you are, you're gonna crumble down one day. We don't last forever here. We're not immortal <laughs> on this earth, you know. Um, but uh, and, and we're we're, high, we're highly flawed. We're not perfect. We make mistakes time and time. And uh, and yeah, but like for me, I have some backup. You know, I have God. You know, keeping me up to date. You know, show, showing me pretty much like the inside heart of the core of the heart, pretty much of other people's um, intentions and stuff like that. And that's a great thing. Um, because somebody might lie to me and then might try to say, like, I wasn't lying to you. And then I can just be like, yo, remember this time you did this, that, and the other. And it's, and it's just like, bam. You know, and it's insane. You know, and, and the crazy thing about it is, too, is that I don't have the greatest of memories. But I can remember the things God says, like, to the dot. You know, the things that God has done for my life, to the dot. You know, but if you ask me what I ate, like, yesterday, I'm going to be like, I have no idea. I seriously, like, right now, I'm thinking about it. I have no clue what I ate yesterday. Obviously, food, but I don't know what it was. I know today I ate, like, a public sandwich. Uh, but yesterday, I have no clue. Like, my memory's so, so bad for, like, the normal stuff. But for when it comes to God, it's just it's spot on. And, uh, and yeah, but yeah, I just want to mention that guys if you if you guys are actually are trying to make a server or Run a business or anything like that. Make sure you know how to play uh, And be the role of an owner the, the role of a leader and You're leading the you know to a nice safe environment. You know, I don't want this to be a chore for people I want this to be 
a nice experience for every staff member and um, and yeah you know it's, it's, it's difficult you know because you might have to you might lose friends you might have to kick people out you might have to you know stuff like this and it's a horrible feeling um, but yeah that's 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 my tip of advice for you guys is simply learn the leadership role you know learn that and uh, and lead you know in the right direction um, and uh, and yeah that's, that's the main thing like you guys might think that the hardest thing is simply plugins no it's not plugins website this and that that's not too difficult the difficult part is at least for me is simply the the leadership role it's simply you know telling someone that you knew for months saying yo you're doing this wrong I want you to do this instead um, and just simply by like maybe some a builder builds like a little platform or like a piece of art and they really like it but I tell them no like I don't like it I don't want it there they have to remove it and some of them can get really really angry really upset and it's a it's a hurtful feeling because I can understand where they're coming from it's like you just worked so hard and you have to remove something and or you know you thought you were working hard but you weren't working to my expectations you know I was pretty much you pretty much said you're gonna work on the server you know for the rest of the day and you barely got on for like 10 minutes and you and you might have thought that's a lot um, but that's not exactly what you put it into words you know uh, but yeah I'm, I'm very kind very loving you know that's you know God made me new and I understand where you know where they're coming from you know like I said I don't plan to kick anybody out but I said I plan to make the roles of every staff member be the roles that they will see the best for you know if someone's better at fixing computers why put them straight up to actually get cards outside like from a store why do that put him into the computer you know put his you know his talents to work I guess you would say you know what I mean and uh, and yeah like I have I have some people you know on the server that, they have like some some insane talent. Some some people can build like like insane insane things. They can just build like crazy on Minecraft and real life. Oh, they can they can just they can either build, they can draw this and that. And it's just it's awesome. Me on the other hand, I don't know. <laughs> I can't really build that much on Minecraft. I could try, but it's not like great. Um, what I do best at simply is I like my talent. I guess you would say like I have a mixture of them. But I learn very, really, very fast. I also forget really quick, but I learn super quick. You, you can just tell me like one or two things about how it works, and I'll remember that for a while. If I continue doing that every single day, I, you know, I'll, that'll be like stuck in my brain. But if I stop doing that, I stop, like, let's say if someone said, okay, this is how you count, count dollar bills, and I started to, you know, do that every single day or something like that. Um, then let's say, like, for some reason, I completely stopped, like, years upon years. Uh, I might end up forgetting like what a what like a dime is like how much is this you know what I mean it's it's like that you know but yeah I learned really really quick uh, but yeah we we have special talents and I want to make sure I actually put the staff members in that role you know that they're having fun you know in, in a nice safe environment that they're not stressed out you know and that and, and that's awesome you know for me actually be saying that and I'm hoping that all the staff members understand that. Because most of the most of the owners for most servers want as soon as you lie to them, as soon as you you know backstab them, as soon as you pretty much do something fishy behind their back, they they're more like more than likely are gonna kick you and ban you. But me on the other hand, you know because of Christ, I'm giving you know multiple chances to staff members, and I want to make sure that it's an awesome environment for every single staff member. And um, I'm thinking about them and not more of me I'm thinking about them I'm putting my shoes or no how is it no it's my shoes on their feet no it's not I'm putting their shoes on my feet and I'm understanding like what's going on like it's stuff like that and uh, it's a difficult role but I'm understanding it and it's yeah, I get it so I'm trying to I'm trying to I'm trying to like come together in a way that we will actually be you know you know not divided not there's not gonna be one guy in the corner all upset but the, we're all gonna be in a circle little thing you know just in the group you know you know doing the things we love I guess you would say that are safe and stuff like that and um, and obviously um, like for the staff members and stuff like that you know like a lot of them even some that have no idea like who Jesus is well they all do now <laughs> um, but I'm praying for them and God has been you know with me through thick and thin on this and you know staff members know what I'm talking about and uh, 
and yeah guys it's 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 a nice experience knowing that I'm not going through this alone you know what I mean like it's I'm, it's not on my shoulders you know what I mean I believe God wants me to do this for his glory and uh, he's helping me out he's letting me know you know things I got to do he's, he's letting me know like because because I know some people are very unhappy some people are stressed out some people are this that and, and I don't like seeing them like that you know that's that's not that's not what God wants from us God doesn't want us to be stressed God doesn't want us to be hurt God doesn't want us to be broken God wants us to go to him to actually be healed to men he wants to mend to our wounds he wants to be you know the father he is towards us you know he loves us he wants to be there for us but it's up to us if we accept him or not you know and uh and yeah but yeah the, to conclude this episode I guess you would say because I just want to talk about that because it's very difficult but uh, it's something you have to learn to run a server obviously you're gonna require some knowledge like on minecraft you require some knowledge you know what I did simply I prayed and also um, went on Google and little by little I learned uh, same thing with like copyright like on YouTube like where to get songs that are royalty free artwork that's royalty free so on and so forth I had to look this stuff up I had to actually pray about it and sometimes I, I looked stuff up so many times and I couldn't find it I tried every website you can think of, I couldn't find it, and then I prayed, then BAM, the knowledge was given to me on that situation or that scene that I was in in life, and um, and yeah, you know, it's, 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 it's something awesome, you know, that I'm actually going, you know, that God is with me on this, and uh, it, it's awesome, I, I, you know, it's, it's, it's just crazy, but you would say, you know, like, it's a game, but, you know, God's glory can be shared in a game, God's glory can be shared anywhere, you know what I mean? Um, pretty much, but obviously, still following God and not, you know, you know, following the world. You can't be lukewarm. Don't be lukewarm. You can be lukewarm, but don't be lukewarm. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much, uh, pretty much the the thing is, I, God is there for me, and little by little, I'm learning things. I'm learning new things, and even though some things might be difficult, uh, it's 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 you know, little by little, little by little. So. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode, and uh, I know I was kind of like, it was a, like it was like a ramble, but it was also informative, you know, letting you guys know, because usually when you make a server, you're thinking about plugins, you're thinking about, you know, builds, you're not thinking about staff members, you're not thinking about, um, you know, who's going to be building this, you're not thinking about, you know, who's going to be setting this stuff up, more than likely you're not going to be thinking about that. Um, but if you want to be a leader, you have to lead. You have to make sure you actually, like for me, I love you guys. You know, I don't care. You could be a witch. You know, I still love you. You know, I don't like what you're doing. You know, if you're straight up cursing people, but I, I don't like that action. But that doesn't make me stop from loving you. You know what I mean? God loves every single one of us. And uh, he's there for us. So we just go to him. And, um, and yeah, you know, that's, that's the thing, guys. That's the thing. Is it's, if you want to run a server, you, you're going to have to be a leader. You're going to have to be understanding. You're going to have to actually understand uh, why people act, re react a certain way, why people are a certain way, um, and stuff like that. You're going to have to understand that. You're going you, you're gonna to have to understand. And, you know, I myself, I'm not perfect. I still myself, but little by little. So, so yeah, I'm going to see you guys when I see you guys. Hopefully, this actually taught you guys some things about minecraft and some other things because this is not just minecraft related this is about being a leader about be being you know the owner of something like a restaurant you could be an owner of a restaurant or of a store or this or that you're gonna have to it's the same role you're gonna have to have a vision a plan on the server and uh, and stuff like that you know server restaurant food whatever you're gonna have to have like some sort of plan some sort of thing that has to be accomplished and this and that you're gonna have to do, have something and you know and for this I believe God wants me to do this uh, on the server and uh, he's helping me out you know I, I myself I'm I'm a quick learner but someone has to teach me nobody physically showed me okay this is, this is what you do this is what you do and every little thing um, I actually had to figure out a lot of stuff on my own no not really God taught me <laughs> uh, God taught me some things and by some things I mean a lot of things and uh, I'm thankful for that. Obviously, I had to pray about it and look stuff up. Um, but like I said, some things I looked stuff up like so many times I couldn't find an answer to it. Um, then I pray about it, bam, the answer just shows up. Uh, and it's amazing. <laughs> it's very cool. But yeah, I just want to let you guys know about this. And uh, and yeah, and hopefully if some of the staff members are watching this video, you kind of understand where I'm coming from on this. 
because some of the staff members might think I'm being harsh and mean to them. Um, like if I didn't notice what they were doing and stuff like that. No, it's, it's like no, like now you understand the other side of the story. You know what I mean? It's like I love and I care about you, and I want to make sure you get in the role that's best for you. You know, we we all won't make like just because someone's insane at making plugins or editing plugins doesn't mean the other guy's gonna be that great at editing and and he's gonna have fun you know editing plugins and all that stuff. He might have fun building. You know, he might have fun just being, you know, making sure the chat's safe, making sure the server, there's no cheaters. You know, there's, you know, there's different roles. There's many roles, like on Minecraft, that you can actually have. And, um, and yeah, yeah, that's pretty much uh, about it, guys. I just wanted to include that right there for you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, and maybe it helped you guys out a little bit as well. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys when I see you. My name is Vasters, aka G Saves, and I'm signing out. May Jesus Christ be with you guys, and God bless you guys. Be sure to look in the description down below. It has a lot of cool information down there. Uh, but yeah, in the description has a lot of cool stuff. But yeah, God bless you guys. May Jesus Christ be with you. Break it down to a second. A million thought a dream Go, go, go for the limit With the power of belief Just soak it up like a flower Like a summer field